name is Brandon Perkins. I'm 22 years old. I am a recent graduate of Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. I live in a little city called Laverne, Tennessee, about 20, about 25 miles south of Nashville. Went to Laverne High School. Um, didn't really know a lot about Fisk at first, but had a good had a good mentor who told me a lot, a lot about the school. Went there, majored in history and religion. Um, had my career plan set on going to seminary afterwards, but um, God kind of led me into going into education for this season at least. So, Lord willing, I'll be at Trevecca Nazarene University in the fall, uh, getting my MA in education. Well, I'm a PK. And like most PKs, you don't want to be a preacher. You don't. Uh, I don't church every week, Bible study, youth meetings, usher board, anything the church was doing, I was there. And so you kind of grow up not particularly wanting to be at church anymore. Uh, and like most teenagers, you rebel. You have those times where you just don't care about God. And... Um, Around age 16, I just got really serious, and I was like, God, what do you want me to do with my life? Well, what is your will for my life? And me and my friend would be on the phone at night having Bible study back and forth, and one night, it was the strangest thing. I'll never forget it. I was, I think, three weeks from turning 17, and one night, about midnight, God woke me up, and I was preaching in my in my bedroom there was nobody there but me I had my Bible open no manuscript no notes nothing was written down it's just the words were coming to me and I I, I was I was scared at first because I had no idea what this was and as the weeks went on I knew I knew that God had called me to preach, and when I, it was funny thing, when I told my mom, she was like, I knew. And of course, most folks are like, I knew. I knew you were going to be a preacher. And so, February 6, 2005, I acknowledged my calling to gospel ministry, and it's been a little bit over five years now, so, still following the Lord. Well, my best friend, uh, Winterborn Jones, is on the leadership team. And originally, I was not on the, the team that was selected in January 2009. Um, but Dr. Moody came to Fisk to visit Winterborn. And when he came, I berated him with questions what the academy was, what they were doing, how I could be involved, how I come to preaching camp last summer. And my constant questions and my constant determination to be involved, he saw my heart. He saw my heart for the ministry and what the academy was doing. And so I got a slot to be an alternate last year for preaching camp. And it's by God's providence that I got to go, and it was an amazing experience. And so after that, I became an official part of the leadership team. Um, being an African-American male who's a preacher, you kind of operate normally in your own circle. You don't get the perspective that, that I have gotten here. Um, one of my best friends in the academy who has now been aged out, uh, Kara Hildebrand good friend, uh, is a Presbyterian, a female. These things you don't normally see in my neck of the woods. Uh, I've met friends this week, Lutherans, more Presbyterians. It's a good experience to create networking and to create a partnership with people who you normally wouldn't see. And so I believe it, it exposes us to different ways of preaching, ways of thinking, ways of talking about the same God, and it makes us better preachers.
I believe that the church now, the next generation of Christian ministry, will not be dominated by people who who are the elders. The, the, the generation now that's coming up, this is a generation that needs to be networked together because there is an awful lot that you can get into. And I believe now is the time for Christian young ministers to come together. I believe that building this kind of network that the academy is doing to partner together, to bring people together who normally would not come together to combine Baptists and Methodists, Pentecostals and Presbyterians, to bring everybody to the table together and say, we all worship the same God. We all proclaim the same God. Let's work together for the betterment of humanity. I believe that's the ultimate goal of the academy to get us all to the same table, to, to have one collective voice among so many other voices that are dominating society, and to proclaim that we serve one God, and that that God is, is worthy of hearing about, and that we have a voice as young people, that we can't be silenced because God has given us a voice, and when God gives you a voice, you can't be silenced. Don't be fearful of the unknown. Uh, I can be honest and say when I came here, I didn't know much about my own denomination, better yet other denominations. I came here as the, the young preacher who kind of just knew I had a calling on my life. So as a young preacher, don't be afraid to test the waters. Don't be afraid to sit in conversations where you get uncomfortable, where your faith is challenged and what you believe is challenged because that's how you actually grow. And that's what the academy has done for me. Just having friends who are older and those who are not older, conversations that are kind of uncomfortable and those that are kind of comforting, conversations that make you think about this thing that we call preaching. Think about this being that we call God, just to make you think in general, is what the academy, I think, is doing. And that's what we need as young people, to actually think about these things and these matters of faith. That's great. Very good. I think that's it. All right. You did good. About nine and a half minutes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Very much.